In the early days of the internet, ASL was shorthand for age, sex, location. It was how people identified themselves in chat rooms to start or drop conversations. Three letters for a self-assignment, which could be true or false, might now look limited in the current digital universe of possible personhoods. Painter Peter Schoolworth has taken the life simulation video game, The Sims, as his medium of entry into the maze of digital life. The Sims allows gamers to create their own human worlds, as a deity might if given off-the-shelf options. People are invented, houses are built, careers created, and relationships developed. Lives are born and ended at the click of a mouse. Schoolworth's fictive scenarios do not make sense or straightforwardly represent reality, but show instead absurd and comical states of being. In Shifted Sims 15, Tiny Living, a painting seven feet tall and 10 feet wide, the artist reproduces two men busy at a workbench creating dollhouse-like characters. It's something like a Sims game within a Sims game. Yet look even closer, and in the middle is a blazer-wearing man gazing upon another painting, which, it turns out, is another artwork in the show, Shifted Sims 9, Eco Lifestyle. There are other ways Schoolworth places a picture within a picture. For example, in people taking photographs, often of themselves. And there is also a framing effect, where the artist offsets a fully realized painting in color within a larger one that's mostly monochromatic. This cut and paste visual editing is achieved largely through trompe l'oeil techniques of depicting realistic looking cast shadows. Shifting silhouettes of people and props serve to elapse or collapse linear time. But look at the raw materials. Aren't these works mere ink print images with thick paint added on top, like icing? Computer images with a gooey garnish? I don't think so. In photography and in computer-generated worlds, we see an emphasis on one or two places the eye and mind is directed toward. Here, that's not the case. The paint handling itself has a touch and range only a seasoned painter could produce. The arrangement of shapes and colors are taut and dynamic across the picture plane, corner to corner, edge to edge. The surface is shuffling in its layers. As these paintings hang on the walls, the once philosophical questions of what is real or how can I know what is real now drive millions of people to consume and produce infinite amounts of digital media news, videos, tweets, as if or in order to stay alive. Schoolworth is moving back from the social fray, turning inward, giving a totalizing visual account of the Hall of Mirrors 2020 has proven to be. In giving form to experience, at least we know this paint, ink, and canvas is real. You can see it in person. But as they say, don't touch the art.